We're back here with another episode of My Watch Lifestyle. Today we're here at RGM headquarters. We're going to take a tour. We're going to sit down with the founder, see what kind of new product they got going on. We'll be back. Stay tuned. told y'all guys we was gonna have something special. We here today with the man himself, Mr. RGM. Mr. Roland Murphy here on My Watch Lifestyle. It's a pleasure, sir, to uh, you know, sit You're down welcome. with me. The man, the myth, and the legend himself. You know, how did you even get started? I wound up starting RGM in 1992, and I've uh, been doing it ever since. Of course, RGM has changed a lot since 1992. Um, you, know, you know, basically around 2000 then, is when I decided, hey, you know, being a watchmaker and a watch nut, you know, I wanted to have my own movements, make three different movements now, uh, as well as still using some Swiss movements on some of the lower price watches. You're an American brand. Why not stay in Switzerland? That certainly makes it easier if you, you know, as far as doing a watch company because you have the infrastructure is already there. Mm -hmm. Doing it from here is, was a lot more, uh, a lot more difficult. We don't hire very often. We're a small team. But we don't have that infrastructure here, so we, it's, it, was, it took a lot longer to achieve what we did, sort of on our own. What does the customer expect and what do you provide that the other watch companies or a bigger watch company mm -hmm. don't provide? A typical RGM customer is somebody who, um, they're not just hung up on names. Our customer is more interested in the watchmaking. Also, you know, we're the only company in the world, really, who are doing all the little things that we do. Uh, in, in here. A lot of people will say, well, what, how is your watch compared to this brand or that brand or price-wise or quality? We don't have layers and layers of distribution and we don't have insane advertising budgets. We have the best watch at every price range. I wanted to see the airplane watch. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted, I wanted to see that. You want to see the aircraft? Well, the aircraft's been out for a while. This watch is inspired uh, by uh, the aircraft clock that were made during World War II. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's where the inspiration for the the color scheme and the layout of these is, uh, right. are, are, are from. So uh, it's a special piece. I want to talk about the famous Pennsylvania tourbillon. Like Pennsylvania this guy tourbillon. makes his own tourbillon. We developed the Pennsylvania tourbillon as something special, and to to date we've made uh, six of them. Um, we have the original prototype around at all times, and uh, it, it is also a watch that we can customize. We, we've made custom versions of the Turbion. I'm here with a watchmaker, so I want to learn today, in this factory, I want to learn how to make a watch. You think you can do that? I don't know if I can make, show you how to make a watch today. We can certainly let you try a, a, a couple tasks. I'm back. All right. You official me up. I got the RGM doctor coat on. I'm here with the doctor, so you're about to... About to show me how to do some watchmaking, so you know, it's my first time, so we're about to get into it. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to have him try a little guilloche, you know, a little engine turning. It's uh, that's what we decorate the dials with or on the movement. So we started one a little bit on a piece of brass here, so we're going to have him have him try it out here and see see how Ty does. So what you want to do <coughs> is you can put your one. You, you're just going to push with this, okay? This. All right now you don't want to do it yet. You're going to push this in. You don't have to push crazy hard. You're just gonna push this forward, but first you want to start turning. So start turning the wheel the other way, counterclockwise, going the wrong way. You go slow, slow down. You're going too fast. Slow down. There you go. Now put your hand on there. Put your thumb on there. Put your other finger right around there, so you can kind of. Now you don't have. Now go ahead and start pushing in. All till it touches. Keep, 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 keep turning. You don't want to stop. You keep turning. Now you, you, you see how it's cutting? Mm-hmm. Look so at you, me. So you cut one of the lines around there. That's how it's done. He did a little guilloche. Now we're going to show him how to how to set jewels, how to put a jewel into a bridge. So the first step we have to take is you're going to ream that center hole to the right size. So to start, we just have to set the position here because when you go down with this reamer, it's going to be cutting material away. And then you can sit it right on top of it. Okay, now it's going to self-center a little bit. And you don't want to put too much pressure. You're kind of just turning, just turn it clockwise, okay? Just keep turning it, and it's going to take metal away, because it's really a cutter. Okay, now you've 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 breached the entire surface there, so you've gone through. Now, now as you're turning, come up again, and then move the bridge out of the way. Put a little pressure up. Okay. 
And this is a Horia tool, and this is what you're gonna use to push the jewel into the bridge with the tweezers. And you don't have to use a lot of pressure because if you use too much, you might it might just shoot off somewhere. And you're gonna sit it right on top of that hole that you just reamed. And you wanna just see a, a hole directly in the center mm -hmm. and no kind of area around it that is gonna, that's kind of, kind of beveled in. And actually, that point wants to meet with the hole that's in the jewel. You want that jewel to press down into that hole and then you want it to press until it's flat with the top of your bridge. So does it look like that jewel is sunken down into the bridge? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, well, it looks like you're finished. I'm a watchmaker officially. I made a bridge, I did some guilloche. What else? Now we're gonna put this in my special watch.